In this video, I'll be going over the Kogo intersections function in Field Genius for Android. So here I just have the sample uh, project open, uh, which already has some points in here. And if I go into the calculator, the Kogo functions, uh, the one we'll be going over in this video is the intersections. So in the intersections, there's a few different methods we can use. Uh, there's the azimuth nesmith, azimuth distance, and distance distance. Uh, for this example, I'll be using the distance distance one. So for example, let's go over here and we'll use points five and six for this case. So the way distance distance method will work is we'll define the two points and a distance from each point and what will happen is it will uh, estimate uh, draw a radius around each of those points based on that distance and see where it intersects uh, so usually because you got two points you're going to get two intersection points of the circles and you can pick and choose which of the two that you want to store the point on or even have both so if i use point six for example and type in a distance of 15 you can see it's starting to uh, draw this radius here so we can know where it's happening and this is all in a 2d environment so it's not looking at elevations for this and then point two i'll use point five and i'll use a bigger distance of 40 for example so you can see here where i got the two uh, radiuses and you can see it's making the two points labeled a and b so before you store the points, uh, you can see which ones you want to store. If you want to do both or just one of them. And if I click on this drop down arrow, you can see what the computer points uh, coordinates are. So if I just want point A, point B will be grayed out. And then when I press the plus button, it'll bring you to the po store point dialog here. And I can save that. And now we have our intersection points there. Okay, thank you for watching this video.